Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to be going over the Prey Mech Mod by QP Designs. Just as a disclaimer, this Mech Mod is only for advanced users. Uh, you should know Ohm's Law and uh, you should be familiar with Mech Mods before using this because it's a hybrid Mech Mod. Uh, so yeah, that's it and let's get into it. The Prey Mech Mods are going to be a limited edition run, 500 in brass and 500 in matte black. So it comes with two colors, you have brass and matte black. The matte black is also brass in the inside, so it's just coated with matte black. So starting off with the battery. It's only 21700 batteries strictly, so there's no compatible sleeve for an 18650 battery. It's only 21700s. The most unique feature about this mech mod is the firing button here. You have a fingerprint icon here, and that's just showing you where to fire it. And so when you press down on this tab here, it makes connection with the inner tube. So it completes the circuit and that's what makes it fire. Both mech mods come with a 28 millimeter ring by default and comes with a 25 millimeter ring extension. So if you have a 25 or a 28 millimeter RDA or RTA, it'll fit on, on this mech mod. And just to show you what it looks like, so this is a brass 28 millimeter. And so to put the 25 on, just remove that ring. Put in the other one. And that's what the 25 looks like. Same thing here with the matte black. So you have the 28 millimeter. Just to mention, all the threads on these mechs are super smooth. Don't want to cross thread it. And that's the 25 millimeter. So in the packaging, it's also included is a little flashlight here, also stated on the box flashlight. It does work, um, but mainly it's for shipping purposes. The Prey Mech Mod has a really compact design since it has the firing button up here. There is a bunch of space saved down here, so there's no uh, need for an extended button here, so it fits really nice in the hand. Actually, cover I could cover the whole mech mod with my hand. Another thing to mention is that it's a hybrid design, so you have to be careful for your protruding pins on your devices. So just make sure that the pins on your RDAs and RTAs are extended, because if they're too short, they could short out the battery. The last thing I'm going to mention is that included in your box is going to be this uh, silicone ring. So this is for the bottom of your chamber here. So if you take a look, that ring is going to protect your battery from touching any uh, metal on the top there. So in case you lose that ring, you have a spare one. 
Thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.